let us now try to understand how aptitude is very different from mathematics. The same question if it is asked in mathematics, how do we solve it? And what happens if the same question is asked in aptitude? Aptitude has nothing to do with mathematics. It has lot to do with calculations, but it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with mathematics. So I'll just give you a question. You try it in your own ways. For those present ages, 24 years more than his son. After two years, father's age would be double the age of son. Find the present age of son. If I'm doing mathematics, I'll do it in this way. Father's present age is 24 years more than his son. This is equation one. After two years, father will become f plus two. Father's age would be double the age of son. That means it will be two times the age of son, but son will also grow two years older. So I have to write it as two into s plus two. Because father after two years will grow two years older and son will also grow two years older. So father after two years is equal to double the age of son. It goes without saying that son will also become two years older. This is equation two. Writing equations is very familiar to us. In school, we have written a lot of equations and we have also done this in school, substituting equation one in equation two. We are substituting equation one in equation two because we have to know the age of son. We are substituting s plus 24 in place of f and we would write it as s plus 24 plus 2 because in place of f we are substituting s plus 24 is equal to 2s plus 4 because 2 into s is 2s plus 2 into 2 is 4. Then you can write it as s plus 26 is equal to 2s plus 4. Then you can bring this on to right hand side that on to left hand side. So what I'll do is I'll bring s to this side and 4 to this side. So then it becomes 26 minus 4 is equal to 2 years minus s that implies s is equal to 26 minus 4 22 years. This is son's present age. This is how you'll get your answer for son's age. If the examiner asks us what is father's age, I'll substitute this in equation 1 and I'll say father's age is equal to s plus 24. So that would become 22 plus 24 that is 46. If you want to cross verify you can. Father, son is 22, father is 46, the difference is 24. And father is 24 years more than his son. And after two years, father should be double the age of son. After two years, he'll become 24, he'll become 48. And that's obviously double. So this is the mathematical solution to this question. But we are not writing the test of mathematics. We are not in school or college where the subject is mathematics. He didn't say it is a mathematics test. It's an aptitude test. So you have to use your natural ability. I don't understand. Is there any natural ability in this? I'm not criticizing mathematics. I'm a huge lover of mathematics. But because it is not a mathematics test, why are you doing mathematics and trying to cheat yourself? So listen to me very carefully. If at all, I have to do this question in aptitude. There are a couple of things which you have to focus. Just observe the question very carefully. Father's present age is 24 years more than his son. And after two years, father's age would be double the age of son. Find the present age of son. Forget about the problem, forget about the question, forget about everything. Just focus, suppose, imagine. Imagine father is 25 years more than his son today. Just imagine. Forget about this particular question. I'm, I'm giving you another problem. Just imagine. Don't use your pen and paper. Just try to think about it. Father's present age is 25 years more than his son today. Then tell me or think what happens after two years. After two years, father's age will be how many years more than his son? Today, father's age is 25 years more than his son. What happens after two years? Will father become 27 years more than his son? Absolutely no. Father will still remain 25 years more than his son. I'll tell you what I imagined. I imagined son is 5 years and father is 30 years today. Son is 5, father is 30 today and the difference is 25. After 2 years, son will become 7 and father will become 32. The ages have changed. But the difference between 7 and 32 is still 25. The difference between 5 and 30 was 25. 7 and 32 is also 25. That means father is still 25 years more than his son. You do it after 3 more years. Even then father will be same 25 years more than his son. After 3 more years, 7 becomes 10 and 32 becomes 35. 10 and 35, the difference will still be 25. So the 25 age gap between father and son will never change. If it is 25, it would be 25 forever. If it is 30, it will be 30 forever. When son was born, father is 30. That means son is 0, father is 30, gap is 30. 
After one year, son becomes one, father becomes 31, the gap still remains 30. After one more year, 2 and 32, the gap is still 30. The ages will change, but the gap will never change. So the first universal law of ages is, the gap between any two persons on the earth will never change. It could be father and son, it could be mother and daughter, it could be between two friends. If you and your friend have a two-year age gap today, you are 20 and your friend is 22. If it is two-year age gap today, after 10 years, you will become 30 and your friend becomes 32. The age gap will still be two. You might get closer, but the age gap will never get closer. So you can call it as a universal law that the age gap will never change. This is something you have to make a note, not in your book, but in your mind that the age gap between any two persons will never change. The second one, let me call it as second universal law. If father is 25 years more than his son today, after certain number of years, father will become double the age of son. Father will obviously become double the age of son. Father has to become double the age of son. Father will definitely become double the age of son. But father becomes double the age of son only once in a lifetime. Now you tell me, if father is 25 years more than his son, when will father become double the age of son? Just think about it. You can pause the video and think. Very, very simple. Only when son reaches 25, father becomes double the age of son. Try to understand, the difference will remain 25. Only when son becomes 25 and difference also remains 25, 25 plus 25, father becomes 50. So only when son reaches to the age of difference, then only father becomes double the age of son. Only when son reaches 25, difference will remain 25 and father will become 50. If difference is 25. If difference is 24, only when son becomes 24, father becomes 48. If difference is 30, only when son becomes 30, father becomes 60. So at any cost, when son acquires the age of difference, then only father becomes double. This is the second universal fact. The first one was, the age gap will never change. If it is 25, it remains 25 forever. If it is 35, it remains 35 forever. The second thing is, father's age would become double only once in a lifetime. Now, if you go back to the question, don't use your pen and paper. The question is very simple. Father's age is 24 years more than his son. Father's age will remain 24 years more than his son forever. So I am writing difference as 24. I am not interested in son's age nor father's age, but I am very interested in the difference because it will never change. Now he says after two years, this is very important. You don't use your pen and paper, I will use just to make you understand. He said after two years, that means he's speaking about a situation after two years. After two years, he is trying to tell us that father's age would become double the age of son and we all know father's age will become double the age of son only once in a lifetime that is when son reaches 24. That means he is indirectly telling us that after two years son is reaching 24. That automatically means father is 48. But these all things happened after two years. After two years if son is 24, today he will be 22. This is my answer. After two years if father is 48, today he is 46. This is father's present age and this is son's present age. And the question was father's present age is 24 years more than his son. The moment I read it, I understood that that gap is 24 and it will remain 24 forever. I am very happy to say that. He said after two years, father's age would become double. The thing which I understood from that is after two years, father's age is double. That itself means that after two years, son is 24. If after two years, son is 24, today he will be 22. That's my answer. Now trust me. Don't use your pen and paper. The moment question gets completed, answer. And trust me, you'll answer. Let it be your spontaneous reaction. Let it be your reflex action. The way you touch hot vessel and remove your hand very quickly. You don't think whether I have to remove the hand or not. You'll simply remove your hand. So as quickly you remove your hand, that quickly you have to answer. Let us just try this as an experiment. Listen to me very carefully. Father's present age is 30 years more than his son. After three years, father's age would be double the age of son. What is the present age of son? 27. I know you said it before I said it. Because that's it. Father's age is 30 years more than his son. The gap is 30. We all know the gap is 30. And after three years, father is double. That itself means that after three years, son is 30. After three years, son is 30. That means today, son is 27. The question was, father's present age is 30 years. The difference is 30. The son becomes 30 and father becomes 60, but it all this happened after 
3 years. After 3 years, if he is 30, today he is 27, today he is 57. The answer for son is 27, the father is 57. Suppose the question is, father's present age is 35 years more than his son. After 4 years, father's age is double the age of son. What is the present age of son? I think you have answered this before I completed the question. The present age of son is 31. Because the gap is 35. That means son is 35, father is 70. But all this happened after 4 years. After 4 years, that means today he is 31. And he will be 66. It's as simple as that. Father's present age is... 32 years more than his son before three years father was double the age of son what is the present age of son that means the difference is 32 son and father and son becomes 32 father becomes 64 but this all happened before three years before three years that means today he'll be 35 and he'll be 67 before three years he was 32 so today he has to be three years more than that that is 35 we have discussed only double. If double happens once in a lifetime, triple happens once, four times happens once, five times happens once, five and a half times happens once, and everything will be done in this way. I don't think you have to use your pen and paper. The way you are solving it right now, this is aptitude. The reflex actions are aptitude. You are not thinking what to do. You are not using x, y. You are not using equations. You are not substituting the values. You are not doing addition, subtractions. You are simply trying to focus on universal facts that... The age gap will never change and double happens only once in a lifetime. That's it. That is how you have to do aptitude. Thank you so much. I'll come up with uh, new videos. Thanks a lot. I'm Krishna Chaitanya Reddy.